Is Earth the only planet harboring life in the vast universe? A question that has fascinated humanity for centuries. As we gaze up at the night sky, it's hard not to wonder if we're truly alone in this cosmic expanse. The mysteries of the universe are vast and profound, with the age-old question of life beyond Earth being one of the most intriguing. Our curiosity has driven us to search the stars, to probe the darkest corners of our galaxy and beyond. It has led us to question our own existence, our place in the universe, and to ponder on the possibility of other life forms out there. The recent years have seen a revolution in our understanding of the cosmos. The discovery of planets outside our solar system, known as exoplanets, has opened up a new frontier in our quest for knowledge. This has not only broadened our cosmic horizons, but also rekindled the age-old question, are we alone? The discovery of exoplanets has rekindled this question and intensified the search for life beyond our home planet. The history of exoplanet discovery is relatively new, beginning in the late 20th century. The cosmos, vast and infinite, held its secrets close, with exoplanets being one of them. But as with all secrets, they eventually come to light, and in 1992, the first confirmed discovery of exoplanets occurred. These exoplanets orbited an unlikely host, a pulsar, the remnant of a star that had met its explosive end. This discovery was intriguing, but it was the breakthrough in 1995 that truly set the stage for the age of exoplanet exploration. Astronomers Michel Mayer and Didier Queloz announced the discovery of an exoplanet orbiting a sun-like star, a gas giant they named 51 Pegasi b. This was a game-changer. For the first time, we had evidence that stars like our Sun could host planets. However, the real acceleration in exoplanet discovery came with the launch of the Kepler Space Telescope in 2009. Named after the 17th century German astronomer Johannes Kepler, the telescope was designed to look for exoplanets in a particular slice of our galaxy. And boy did it deliver! Kepler's observations have led to the confirmation of over 2,000 exoplanets and counting. It's thanks to this space observatory that we now know that there are more planets than stars in our galaxy. What's fascinating is that these exoplanets come in a variety of sizes and orbits. Some are gas giants, others rocky worlds. Some orbit close to their stars, while others take a more leisurely path. This diversity in exoplanets has not only expanded our understanding of planetary systems, but also sparked a tantalizing question. Could any of these exoplanets host life? The discovery of thousands of exoplanets has opened up new possibilities and given us a broader playground to search for life. As we delve deeper into the cosmos, who knows what other secrets we'll uncover. One thing's for certain, the dawn of exoplanet discovery is just the beginning of our cosmic journey. Not all exoplanets are created equal when it comes to the possibility of harboring life. In the vast expanse of the cosmos, there's a very special region around stars known as the Goldilocks Zone, or more scientifically, the Habitable Zone. Now, why is it called the Goldilocks Zone? Well, much like in the tale of Goldilocks, this zone is not too hot, not too cold, but just right. It's the perfect distance from a star where conditions might allow liquid water to exist on a planet's surface. And as far as we know, water is the elixir of life. But water alone isn't enough. Life, at least life as we know it, also requires a certain range of temperatures and specific atmospheric conditions. The planet needs to have a stable climate, a protective magnetic field, and a right mix of chemical elements. Now let's talk about a couple of exoplanets that have caught our attention in this regard. First up, we have Proxima Centauri b, nestled in the habitable zone of the closest star to our solar system, Proxima Centauri. It's a rocky planet, a little more massive than Earth, and could potentially have liquid water on its surface. Next, we have Kepler 22b, a planet discovered by NASA's Kepler Space Telescope. It's located about 600 light years away in the habitable zone of its star. Now, we don't know much about Kepler 22b's atmosphere or composition yet, but its location within the Goldilocks zone makes it an intriguing candidate in the search for life. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. The discovery of exoplanets in the habitable zone is indeed thrilling, but it's only the beginning. 
These planets may have the right conditions for life, but whether they actually host life is another question entirely. It's a question that will require more advanced technology, more research and more exploration. Finding exoplanets in the habitable zone is exciting, but it's only the first step in the search for extraterrestrial life. So, where does the search for extraterrestrial life stand today? The quest for finding life beyond Earth has been a cornerstone of human curiosity. And with the advent of advanced technologies, we are closer than ever to potentially uncovering this cosmic mystery. Scientists today are leveraging the power of cutting-edge instruments such as the James Webb Space Telescope to peek into the farthest corners of the universe. This magnificent piece of technology named after the former NASA administrator James E. Webb is not just a telescope, it's a time machine that allows us to glimpse into the distant past to times when galaxies were just beginning to form. But more relevant to our current pursuit, it's also a powerful tool in the search for extraterrestrial life. One of the ways we're using the James Webb Space Telescope is to study the atmosphere of exoplanets, those celestial bodies orbiting stars outside our solar system. By analyzing the light that filters through an exoplanet's atmosphere, we can deduce the composition of its atmosphere. Different gases absorb different wavelengths of light, and by studying the spectrum of light that we receive, we can identify what gases are present. This is where the concept of biosignature gases comes into play. These are gases that could only be produced by biological processes. Oxygen, for example, is a biosignature gas. On Earth, it's produced by photosynthesizing plants. If we detect a similar pattern of gases in an exoplanet's atmosphere, it could be a strong indicator of life. However, finding these biosignature gases is not a definitive proof of life. There are non-biological processes that can also produce such gases. But if we find an atmosphere with a mix of gases that seems unlikely to have formed without the help of biological processes, well, that would be a tantalizing hint. The search for extraterrestrial life is a journey filled with exciting possibilities and unanswered questions. As we continue to explore, we inch closer to answering the cosmic question. Are we alone in the universe?